All right, guys, the time has come for us to create a new workbook. Now, we can do this while we already have workbook open, as you can see here, I have a workbook open. Maybe I want to create a brand new one, right? Again, remember, creating a new workbook is going to create a whole new file here. So we, we only need to do this when we want to start completely from scratch. If we just want to add data to an existing workbook, then we could always add in a new worksheet by using the plus sign down here, okay? Uh, also, if you are opening up Excel for the first time or you didn't have a workbook already open, it would most likely already launch into the new area or it'll bring you at least into the backstage view. Um, because we have a workbook open, we're gonna need to go to the backstage view. So we're going to click on file. Yep, you guessed right. I'm gonna go to file and then I'm going to go to new. So let's look at some of the options that are in here for us. First of all, of course, I can create a blank workbook, right? Nice and easy, we'll do that at the end. That's gonna create a very, just blank new workbook for us, right? If I wanted to start off with some existing data, I could do so through a template, right? A template is a pre-saved workbook that we can use as the basis or foundation for a new workbook. Now, I can see a bunch of different templates and template categories down here. I want to point out that if you had any custom templates saved on your local computer in the template section of Microsoft Office, you would see a custom tab here, and that is where you would find all of your custom templates. Now, I don't have any of those, so that's why you don't see that, but you would see that here if you had created any. So I'm looking around down here, and we've got some templates. Let's pick one. So, you know, we have these that are just kind of sitting out here, and then I could also search for Template. So they have some suggested searches here. Um, let's search and let's type in project. And this is going to search through Microsoft's templates and it's searching online. And we have all these different project management templates. Let's search for a different thing. Let's search for uh, tasks. All right, this is a little bit more like what I would like. Ooh, there's a to-do list. All right, let's do that. Here's a template for a home remodel to-do list. All right, let's go ahead and click on that. It's going to give me a nice um, screenshot or thumbnail of this. It's going to give me a description. It's going to tell me that Microsoft has provided this for us. It tells me the size of it. Notice it says download size because this is coming from online. So this means... If you do not have an active internet connection, you will not have access to all of these different templates, right? So you wanna make sure that Wi-Fi is turned on and connected. I'm gonna click Create, Downloads very quickly, and here I have a new workbook. This has different sheets already in it, this particular one, and I could go ahead and customize this if I wanted to. Let's do another one, right? File New. Let's take a look at charts. What is that? Or better yet, let's, let's go back here. Let's take a look at calendars, right? Everyone likes a nice calendar. Ooh, look at this. Seasonal Illustrated. Um, yeah, no, you know what? I like this one. Ooh, summer. Yeah, it reminds us of vacation, right? Let's look at that. Downloads for me, and there's my calendar. Cool, I could customize this. I could add stuff to it. Some templates might load up and have like macros or buttons you could click on to uh, add things, take things away, what have you. But this is pretty straightforward. All right, let's go back to File and New one more time. Notice that as I have chosen those templates, they start to show up up here in my favorites area or my recent area. I even have a little thumbtack here where I could pin these so that they don't move. Let's create a blank workbook. Blank and creates just a clean, empty workbook. It only gives us one sheet and it's up to us now to begin to add in whatever contents we wanted to be in the workbook, right? So most of the time, you're probably gonna start off with a blank workbook, right? And you're gonna shape it in your image, build out all the stuff that you want to have. But it's good to know that those templates are there just in case there's a specific need 
Um, very common need would be project management stuff, which is why I had a search for tasks. So if you're looking for like a Gantt chart or some kind of project management tool and you're not using Microsoft Project, right, you can search through those templates for that. Um, but most of the time you are going to start off with a blank workbook.